did Kendall cause Kylie to break up with Tyga? One Direction added a fifth band member, say what? And Zac Efron is driven all the way down for your Friday treat. Uh, we've got all that and more on today's Rundown. Happy Friday, my friends. It's good to be back on DHR. I'm co-hosting with Rylan today. For the first time ever. I know, we've ever. never done that. It's good to be back. Misty, I want to know where have you been? We've missed you where so much on been? Clever. Dun, 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 dun. You know, just um, traveling the world, actually. But oh, I'm happy to be back. I'm so jealous. Okay, well, we have some crazy Tyga and Kylie news, right? Yep. That is right. Trouble in paradise for Kylie Jenner and Tyga right now. So this source told Hollywood Life that Kendall is becoming is coming between them. I want to read you a quote. Tyga doesn't need Kendall's approval to date Kylie, but he's shocked that Kendall's not happy for them. He's not trying to break up their sister time, but does feel Kendall needs to cut the umbilical cord that's connecting her to Kylie. What? I know. So something is definitely going on here, even though Kendall keeps saying that her and Kylie are fine, right? Mm, yeah. And there's this promo for the season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> where Kendall says that Kylie doesn't have her priorities straight. And she even calls her the C-U-N-T word. Did you see that? Right, so something is definitely going on mm -hmm. here, right? And then, come to find out that yesterday at Tyga's 26th birthday party, Kendall and Kylie were nowhere to be found. Okay, I do want to give them that they were just getting back from Australia promoting their clothing line. I think they were flying, probably. So, like, I kind of want to give them that, but there is a ton of speculation where they're like, they didn't show up. And I'm like, were they back uh, in the United States? But now, TMZ is saying that they actually have broken up, that Kylie and Tyga may not be together because of something Tyga did and that it was what? Kylie's call. What do you think that I could be? I don't know what to believe here, but then there's also this Instagram photo, you guys, of Kendall giving the middle finger through her um, butt cheeks. Ooh. And so I've been thinking that that is a middle finger to Tyga because she posted on his birthday. Coincidence so, or not? I don't think it's that big of a coincidence. I think something shady probably went down. I don't think she missed the birthday party because of that, but I don't want to put it past them that something strange happened. What okay. are you thinking? Okay, I think where there's smoke, there's fire. I think something is definitely going on. Okay, do you want to make guesses? Um, I think they broke up. Oh, breaks my heart. All right, Misty, we're moving along. You saw that One Direction stopped by Jimmy Kimmel to promote Made in the AM and talk about their upcoming of hiatus. Of course, of course. But our focal point here is that they added a fifth band member. Yeah, but it was not their doing. It was uh, Jimmy Kimmel's doing. <laughs> yeah, so he presented to them a potato, and here is what he said. This is a russet potato raised in a field, among many others. We bought it at Ralph's. It cost 58 cents. It's a very ordinary, and some might say humble vegetable, but what this potato does not know is it's about to become the most famous potato in the world. Members of the paparazzi will try to take pictures of it, young girls will shriek when they see it, and by this time tomorrow, this potato might even be dating Ariana Grande. I think that's kind of offensive that he picked a potato. I think we need something a little bit better than that to fill Zane's place. See, I think it goes to prove, though, that like putting up anything with these boys hits and it works. Well, yeah. What I think more is what's more offensive is saying that by this time tomorrow, the potato will be dating Ariana Grande. Okay. Defending your girl, Ari. Defending my girl, Ari. Okay. But I do agree with you. Like, the potato, they could have done something better than that. But on Instagram and Twitter, they already have tons of followers. 13,000 on Twitter and 100,000 Instagram followers in less than 24 hours. Super duper impressive. And they also performed five different songs. But here's a little clip of history. You and me got a whole lot. good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. Now for some Zac Efron news. Thanks to the Red Band trailer for his new uh, movie, Dirty Grandpa, we get to see a very naked, buff Zac Efron do the Macarena with nothing but a B covering uh, his junk. Okay, Misty, I'm starting to think that it's like, it, it's something that has, it's not a Zac Efron movie unless he's semi-naked in the trailer. I know, it's like it's becoming again. a trend, yeah. Yeah, okay, check it out, you guys. And that is why I will be seeing Dirty Grandpa when it comes out next year. So in the movie, Zac plays this guy named Jason who's about to get married and he's kind of a square and his grandfather convinces him to drive to Florida for spring break. So you can only imagine the craziness that goes down in this movie and the amazing cast also includes okay Robert De Niro, Zoe Deutsch, Julianne Hough and Aubrey Plaza. Oh I cannot wait also the trailer is raunchy beyond belief it's like the jokes are insane and the amount of times they swear in one trailer just has like my mouth dropped. I'm excited to see Efron De Niro mm -hmm. can't wait. All right Misty, Camila Cabello, Shawn Mendes you have heard their single I know what you did last summer right? I have well, and it, I love it. It dropped on Wednesday
Wednesday. It's basically everything, but they performed it for the very first time live on Kelly and Michael, and it was kind of everything. Take a look. I can't see the light you go, can't see the heart you close. Okay, so I love that these two look so good together. I'm totally shipping them. Do you think they're like together as I a think, couple? Yes, I think they're absolutely perfect for each other. I freaking love them. <laughs> I do too. What uh, really kills me though is they said that they weren't actually planning to do a song together. It just came from like their in-home jam sessions and they were like, well, good. I think we really have something. It's organic, that's great. But what's not so great about it is it's kind of fueling the fire of Camila like the rumors of Camila leaving Starting her solo age. career. Yeah, so what do you think about that? Uh, well, <laughs> there's no doubt about it that she's going to have a solo career. And whether or not this is the start of it, I don't know, but it's, it's, like, it's impending. People are going to get happen. really mad at you, though, Sorry. because they're going to be like, that's not happened yet, it hasn't no, been no, confirmed. even since their X Factor days, Demi Lovato pointed it out and she knew. Well, she's like this... Camila is something else, and I think it will happen. Right now, though, it's not a thing, but it's in the works, yeah. undeniably. But I'm not saying that none of the other girls can go solo. They no, can do that, too. they can. They're all fabulous. We love you all. And because it's Friday, of course, it's time to crown a new Clever of the Week. Mm. But before Ryland does that, I'm going to give a shout-out, of course, to loyal watcher Sharon Bernath. Thank you for all the photos and collages you make on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We see all of them. Also, thank you for being a loyal watcher and watching the show every single day. Yeah, we love ya. And then also, Misty, are you ready for Cleverette of the Week? Cleverette of the Week. Ryland, who is it? It's our good friend, Syak. We love him so much for supporting us from the very beginning. He also shows Misty love all of the time, which is great. Thank you. And you guys, he wrote, I don't have any friends at school because I have hearing aids and I'm only 11 and people judge me for that. You guys give me the confidence to just be myself and he likes to consider the Clever team as his friends, as do we. Oh, thank you, that's we so, are. so sweet. Of course, before we go, we have a couple of questions for you guys. I wanna know, do you think that Kylie and Tyga should break up? That's a really good one. I think that they might have already done so, but I wanna know if you think this is the beginning of Camila's solo career. Oh, you gotta tell us, you guys. Leave comments. Thank you so much for hanging out with Misty and Rylan ah. on DHR today. Have an amazing weekend. See you next week. Click to the left to see Justin Bieber reveal his sexy celebrity crush. Or click to the right for all the details on why Zayn Malik left 1D.